Hey guys, Rip Fletching here. Uh, we're going to do another broadhead test, this time through a mule deer hide, and it's it's tough. Um, it's one I've, I've let it dry. I uh, got it back a few months ago. Uh, the hair on the inside, so it's going to be I don't know. I guess people can complain about it, however, but I want you to be able to see where it goes in. If I put the hair pointing out, you won't be able to see. It'll be the same thing. Uh, through the hide into ballistics gel. I'm going to shoot an assortment of broadheads. I'm going to be shooting from about 15 yards away. And um, well, let's see what happens. You know, guys, I don't really care which one wins, so don't think I have a prejudice or whatever. I just want you to see what I've been seeing. And maybe this is going to prove something totally different than what I expect. I don't know. So um, I'll go show you the broadheads. Let me show you this hide. <clears throat> mule deer hide thick fur strapped it to ballistics gel all right and yeah it's going to come out the back side it's not going to go into this hide on the back side i don't even want it to i don't want to mess with trying to get it out so that wasn't even the plan we're going to check penetration and uh you know that's just the way i've got it figured so all right, we're going to start. I'm going to show you some of these broadheads. We'll just do them one at a time. And um, this, and we're, we'll name them. This is the Badger broadhead. Okay. Let's see if I can find a place to put them while I'm. Nope, that ain't going to work. I have a big mess here. Sorry about my basement, guys. This is my play area here. is the Ramcat. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Okay. That's a single bevel. This is the old Thunderhead. I've killed several deer with this. I've killed deer with about everything I've showed you except for the, the, the two new broadheads I've I've never had used those at all. This is an Eclipse 2 blade. Okay. All of these broadheads, razor sharp. Okay. Ramcat. This is the wide one. This one is not a single bevel. Okay. Just give me time, guys. We'll work through this. I want you to feel like the it's a, a fair test. This is the black swan. Which is going to have the widest cutting diameter of any of the ones. Okay. And guys, I forgot the name of this broadhead. I'm sorry. I'm sure you guys uh, can fill in in the caption below. About to have a broadhead spillage here. Here we have a Heartcraft. Okay. Hopefully I haven't misnamed something that very easily could have. Sorry. Muzzy. Phantom. Alright. <laughs> I don't have a little ballistics chill on the tip of it. Alright, let's um set it up and uh, see what we get going. Let me zoom in on that ballistics chill a little bit. How's that, guys? All right, let me grab these arrows up over here. And let it fly. Hopefully, I can hit the broadside of a barn. I 
don't want my arrows. It's kind of a tough job here because I don't want them to hit each other, but I want them to be in the plastics gel. <clears throat> All right. Uh, first one we grab, uh, Badger Broadhead. Next one, the Ram Cat Single Bubble. Okay. Uh, next one is the the Ram Cat Pro Series. I have to be careful. I'm going to that down too close. Next one, Muzzy Phantom. Next one, the Heartcraft. <laughs> Boy, that's tough stuff. The next one, I cannot think the name of it for some reason. You guys will know it when you see it on the, the uh, video. That one sounds like it went pretty good. All right, the Eclipse Broadhead. <clears throat> See where I can put this. Well, that one didn't make much noise, did it? All right, next one is a Thunderhead. Let's see where to put it. It's funny how some of those turn when they go in there. All right, next one is the Black Swan. I thought I already shot a Black Swan. Maybe I didn't. Ooh, where can I put it? Okay. And last but not least, the bear. Or actually, maybe it's a Zwicky. Nope. All right, let's uh, go see the carnage. Let me um, actually, what I should do. Just cut that string off and pull the back of it off. <clears throat> and I know, guys, there's a thousand reasons why this isn't a fair test. It's just the best I could do <laughs> under the circumstances I'm in right now. So, I'll just do it like it is. Bring the camera over. Let you take a peek. You very quickly see the effects of that tough hide. All right, guys. Here we go. Ramcat, Ramcat, and looks like a badger broadhead sticking out there. All right, Ramcat, Ramcat, badger broadhead. And uh, nothing else came through, guys. Sorry. That's crazy. So the old school Badger Broadhead style, guys, actually come through. Um, I mean, it, it's a very good head. I, I killed, you know, several deer with it. And turkeys. I, I killed a couple of turkeys and three deer. With it this this last season and uh, and this season too, so don't have anything negative to say about that. Um, boy, wondering if we can. Yep, badger. All right, that was the one I wasn't sure of. Let's see what this one is. 
And that is the Eclipse. So it, might, it did pretty good too. It was real close. Yeah, that is a single uh, blade Eclipse broadhead. I will tell you, uh, both the Eclipse and the Badger broadhead were 125 grains. Actually, that Eclipse is 145. I forgot because I've got an insert in it. Um, so there you go. The two lightest arrows with the tip weights, 100 grains a piece, which they're the two Ramcats, both um, went through the deepest. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. I had fun doing it. And uh, don't tear me up too bad, guys. I know there's a 100 reasons why this isn't 100%. Just shooting in my basement for fun. Hope you enjoyed it. See you guys. Like and share, guys. See you in the woods.